I'm Damien King, and in this video, we're going to be using this robot and calculating its velocity. To calculate the velocity, we need to measure two properties. How far did it travel, and how long did it take? With the NXTG software, we can set one of these properties ourselves, run the robot, and measure the other. We'll start by setting the time in the software, and then measuring the distance. Here is a single move block. In this case, we are going to set our robot to drive forward for five seconds. And then we will measure how far it goes. We don't want it going too fast in this case. I'm going to drop the power level down to 50%. Let's download to the robot and see how it goes. So if we take the tape measure, we can see that this robot traveled 93 centimeters over those five seconds. And from that information, we can calculate the velocity. We know it went 93 centimeters divided by five seconds means that this robot was traveling at 18.6 centimeters per second. Let's try that again. But this time, rather than setting how long the robot travels, we're going to set how far it travels and use a stopwatch to measure how long it takes to travel that distance. In this case, we are going to set our robot to travel for five rotations. Now we know from previous videos that one rotation of the robot will travel 17.6 centimeters. So five rotations will make the robot travel 88 centimeters. So here we've set up two marks, 88 centimeters apart. That's exactly five rotations. Let's use stopwatch now to time how long it takes our robot to travel those five rotations. Four point seven seconds. So we know we traveled 88 centimeters and it took us 4.7 seconds to do that. So 88 divided by 4.7 gives us 18.7 centimeters per second very close to what we calculated earlier. Your turn now. Take your robot, choose a random power level and calculate the velocity that your robot travels. 